right, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here. I, I had a lot of people say, I miss you saying, let's paint. So let's paint. <laughs> I was in love with the color scheme that I did for Amani's commission. It was this fluorescent pink that I have from um, Soho Acrylics. I get it from Jerry's Artorama, if anyone wondered. And then I have a metallic blue and turquoise green again. I'm gonna do a swipe and scoop this time. So sometimes I actually do it where I swipe like a white or black through the base color, but I'm not gonna do that this time. Sometimes it gets lost in there anyway, but I am gonna scoop. I'm probably gonna swipe it out and then be like, oh my gosh, I love it. I don't want to scoop, but I'm gonna scoop. So, all right, um, let me, I'm just gonna start, I think. I think that's the best way to go about doing it. I'm just gonna pour down a good base. Save just a little bit of this for another idea I have. I'm telling you, sometimes it's really hard to find the time to get into the studio but it's also hard for me to leave the studio once I'm there. I don't know if that happens to anybody else, but some days I'm just like, oh, I don't feel like painting or I don't wanna make a video. Cause I mean, you have to be on a lot of times on camera, you know? But once I get here, I'm like, oh, I have this idea. I could do this, I could do this. So I guess it all works out in the end. Um, all right, I am going to, I'm going to go to town on swiping on this one. I'm going to do a lot of colors and I'm just going to go swipe crazy. That fluorescent pink I'm in love with, and I'm not going to swipe these all the same way. Putting down lots of bold color. I'm going, I'm layering some of the turquoise. I mean, there's not that many colors, so I don't have to worry about layering that much, but whoa, that was a lot of, that was a lot of blue. And then what I've noticed when I've done these swipe and scoops is that I have a lot of neck, like I go small with the swipe and then I have a lot of negative space and when I swipe I'm like scoop I should say I'm scooping the negative space in and so I end up with a lot more negative space so I wanted to keep it kind of minimal this time so I'm gonna swirl this on through it this way I really liked how that came out the last time And I feel like maybe through this one, I want maybe just a little bit more pink there. Maybe a little bit more pink there. Okay. I mean, I am like, I'm really excited about this one, so I'm just gonna get going on it. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Some days I think like I've never done this before. <laughs> okay. All right, here we go. I am just gonna get going. My pouring mediums are down in the description box below. I've been doing a lot of these. I have an entire playlist. Um, I did a tutorial of it with Olga Sobi. So if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment box. The Australian flow trawl I get off of eBay or the Wholesale Paint Group Australia or the Fluid Art Company. Um, sometimes they're out though. I think I wanna swipe the first part of the, ooh, this will be different. I wanna swipe the first part of it up that way and that part, second part of it down that way. Let's see if that works. First part up this way. And then, 
oh, this is pretty. I should start swiping on like a little six by six canvas. I'm gonna do that next time, I think, if I have any. So now I'm gonna swipe the other part of this. Okay, one, my table's not extremely level. Two, I have a big chunk of white there in the middle, but I'm gonna see if this works. Almost like the Shelley art technique, you know, blowing straight down into the puddle, um, which is where I learned, you know, where I even got the idea for these swipes in the first place. But if you have a spot like that, just blow on it and the colors underneath will come up. I also had somebody else ask and say, yours don't look like that because your colors, you know, all align. When you're swiping through, versus puddling on top. When you puddle on top, your cells are gonna have all the ringlets of color. And you can actually see it coming through here. I've got blue and then the turquoise blue, a purple and then the pink. But when you swipe through them, the white catches the color and laces the color through there instead. So instead of these cells, you get the lacing, if that makes any sense. <laughs> This one, I'm gonna start down here and swipe this. And I've been going kind of fast, so my white has been staying on top. I wanna go slow and stretch that white over then. Oh, I didn't like that. But I'm gonna wreck it, so that's okay. I'm gonna have to take my color off the table on this one because I have a lot overflowing. It's gonna come off and I'm gonna scoop it. I don't even know why I'm worried about it. But as I say that, I keep going. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop. All right, last swipe up here. So this one's actually quite different for me. Ooh. Oh, I dripped that right there. This last little part caught right there and created that swirly cue and I love it. I like the extra pieces of design that are in there. Well, that came out just fine. Okay, I'm back to the point where I don't wanna scoop. <laughs> I get here each time and I love every part of this so I don't wanna do anything to it, but. Ooh, that was a big scoop. That also was a big scoop. Oh, I love this part so much. I might scoop that gentle. Okay, so you see what I meant by the negative space ends up coming through here more. And that's just something I've noticed as I've been doing these. So if you want less negative space, leave less negative space around the edges to scoop um, and make sure that you have a large portion of colors in the center. So I like it. I like it. This piece made me cry just a little bit because I really liked the way that was before. I am just gonna kind of draw that out right now. This over here, I'm okay if that goes off the edge. And let's see how this turns out. My least favorite corner is right there, so I'm okay if some of that comes off. My favorite corner is right there. Let me get a good handle on this. 
because I want to be very careful with how much of that I pour off because I love it. And I love this pink corner too. And my last corner down there. Sometimes it does make me cry a little bit that I lose so much pretty stuff in the process in these swipe and scoops, but it's also like a process for me of like letting go. Being able to just kind of appreciate art because that's why I started acrylic pouring and fluid art in the first place because abstract work takes me much longer and I'm almost never satisfied with it and I'm always judging it. And I love this about this type of art that I can just love it for what it is, really. Okay, so as I fiddle, <laughs> I'm going to take my finger because I just feel like it needs some of the color moved up into here. I love it. I love this ribbon that came through right there. I just feel like there's this beautiful purple that's coming up from mixing that dark blue and that uh, pink together. I, I think yeah, I think I'm gonna touch up my corners and yet again, I am done. I loved the way, I think I would have loved the way it was when I stretched it out if I hadn't scooped, but scooping gives such a dimension. Like I'll bring you in on the camera, but it, I can't explain it. It's, I'll show you. I almost forgot to show it to you. It's on my drawing table now. Look at that. That corner. And then there's this tiny little hint of the metallic up there. This is what I was telling you about that I wanted to show you. See how it twists? That's from where I scooped it, and it just gives the most interesting designs. So there it is. Got some stuff to varnish over there on that side. All right, I'll show you what it looks like dry. Okay, here this is. This is a close favorite for the swipe and scoop technique for me. Um, the pink in the corners, absolutely love it. The copper warmed this painting up. It, it, um, it has such a moody feel to it now. And the other one that I did, you know, it was still on the dark base as well, but it was much brighter. And I think it's because more white swiped through the pink, but let me show you. So there's a super bright corner. That almost looks lit up and it's because of the copper that's in there. I am in love with this part right there and there's almost, I mean, there is a little bit of texture right through here. It's from where I scraped the paint and I actually just really like it. It looks like I added that dollop on there. There's, oops, got you out of focus there. There's the lacing and the copper that goes up through there. That is my favorite twisting part. Oh, absolutely love it. And then right there, look at that corner. Super happy. All right. Thanks everybody for watching. I've got a, quite a few more ideas with this color palette so that I hope that you like it. Let me know if you've tried this color palette as well. Thank you so much for sticking around with me. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Happy painting. Bye.